like a lot of Xbox One X owners, you copped your unit on release day. In the States, it was November 7th, 2017. You, like I, were excited at the prospects of the culmination of all you came to Xbox for finally coming to fruition this generation. A. Great ecosystem. B. Nuanced titles to invigorate its hardcore. And C. Once again, the best performing and looking games available on console. Problem is that item C, the best looking titles, came at the cost of purging of item B, nuanced AAA titles. And C wasn't a consistent thing, as in Jen's past, because games would have better fidelity on the competing $200 system than it did on your newly purchased $500 one. <laughs> God of War. And what is Xbox's solution to this issue? To fight, to pepper you with visually stunning titles that not only fit its demographic, but as well push the fidelity done on the system way past anything possible with the competition. No. They instead fight to benefit from the success of its competitor by continuing to cry over crossplay. But before we get deeper to that, you know what I'm saying? Let me just remind you. It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Yo, if you could do me a huge favor, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, please, so you know when your boy is dropping these doses. Hey, I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Okay, okay, so right now I'm a little confused here, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully, you know, talking this through with y'all, you know what I'm saying? I can clear my confusion. Y'all can help me with that, okay? So here's where I'm confused at, all right? On the heels of yet another game being released by its competitor, Spider-Man, that in all, by on all intents and purposes, looks like it's going to look better fidelity-wise again on the $200 counterpart than anything on the X. A poor lineup of non-genre-defining titles that just are plain embarrassing when you look at Jen's past for the Xbox family. And the fact that Xbox gamers were just embarrassed, praying and hoping that Spider-Man was downgraded enough to hamper its success. Xbox is not making any matters any better with its focus. So what do I mean by that? Well, in lieu of Sony taking its stance against crossplay, okay? One that I, even as a gamer who prefers the Xbox console over the PlayStation 4 console can respect, Xbox decides to draw a line in the sand there instead of helping its wood buffers retreat from Puddlegate and focus on the slew of triple A multiplats that could end the fidelity con conundrum. So you understand what I'm referring to. Let me read you the article detailing the situation. Okay, so this is an article from essaybreakingnews.co, uh, all right? And it, the, the title of it is Yobara. Sony still isn't listening to gamers. So it reads, Xbox engineering lead Mike Yabara has taken a swipe at competitor Sony for what he feels is a failure to acknowledge PlayStation users' desire for cross-play compatibility. Microsoft and Nintendo have shown a real willingness to facilitate cross-play between their respective consoles, the Xbox, and the Switch. But Sony has no such plans for their own device. In fact, Sony CEO Kenichiro Yoshido made his stance on the matter crystal clear last week when he suggested that PlayStation is the best place to play. Yoshida went on to say, Fortnite, I believe, partnered with PlayStation 4 is the best place, uh, is the best experience for users. That's our belief. It would be fair to say that Yoshida's comment have not gone down well with many in the industry, least of all PlayStation users who were hoping to see crossplay become a reality. Yabara, meanwhile, took to Twitter to express his opinion on the matter, stating the following. And this is what Yabara said in his tweet. Still isn't listening to gamers. All games should be cross-play and progression with the right input, flexibility, and gamer options. Sony boss dismisses Fortnite cross-play controversy. All right. Now, here's the problem, okay, with that focus. All right. I have a $500 box in my house that I was told would be unmatched console-wise and you fell short of those expectations, Xbox, early on. You have a chance to redeem yourself. 
You have the marketing rights and what seems to be a cordial relationship with Crystal Dynamics as it relates to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Why not focus attention and resources there to ensure we get top-notch product? One that even though it is a multi-plat, it could far surpass what's available on any other console. But instead, you try to maximize your bottom line. Let, let's be real here, that's all this is. On the hills of rumors that you have scaled back projects that do not have a clear cut and exponential financial benefit to the brand, and, and I'm saying this with, with the thought that so with so many people telling me that Satya had full faith in, in the gaming division and opened up the purse strings, you know, unequivocally, but that sounds like that may not be true. Also on the hills of you missing opportunities to bring us visually stunning titles like Space Hulk Deathwing, a game right for your demographic, and I'm not going to let that go, but allow it to be a console exclusive only to the PlayStation 4. The fact that we can't get any custom consoles that don't look lamer than Fred Rogers and some Air Force Ones. The fact that instead of focusing on your own individual success and your collaborations with your partners to put top-notch quality experiences in our hands sooner rather than later, this all proves just one thing. That Xbox officially no longer is focused on mindshare, with exception to bringing us old games. But even with those, you can still resell them for $19.99 if people don't have their old discs anymore. We Xbox gamers no longer have any true advocate at the company for fanfare. And that, my friends, is truly, truly sad. And that's also it from your boy MM2K. Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, you know what I'm saying? Like I always tell y'all, y'all can come with me, y'all can come at me, it makes your boy no difference. But if you like what you heard, you know what I'm saying? You know where you can find me, I'm on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey yo, I do a show with your boy TRS and we still have a surprise new co-host that we're gonna drop information on soon. For Scram Punks, that information is coming soon. But yo, every Wednesday, check us out. Follow me on my YouTube channel to stay up with the show. It's a great podcast. And last but not least, you know what I'm saying? Support my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. You know what I'm saying? Yo, check out the links below. Yo, check out that Patreon link. You know what I'm saying? Show us some love there. You know what I'm saying? Check out the gear. It's fly. And also check out that Discord, man. It's going crazy in that Discord. And yo, before I go, I just want to say this. As an Xbox fan, and, and, and it saddens me to have to say this, but I, I gotta keep it real. Let, let, let's cut the music. Let's cut. The music. <laughs> Being that Microsoft no longer wants to focus on fanfare the way they need to, the way that Sony did it at the end of last generation to help propel them to where they're at now. I mean, there were some other things that worked in their favor, but they understood what they, where they needed to start. Being that Xbox is trying to surpass that, they don't want to focus on fanfare. Then you know what I'm saying? Your boy gonna have to take his talents elsewhere. I'm checking out what they doing at Amazon. See what's coming, what's coming down that pipe. With that being said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.